As an application reader for a prestigious mathematics program, I see a lot of top students apply. All of them with 4.0 GPA, 10 plus APs, perfect 800 SAT math scores, great letters of recommendation, and long-winded essays. And to be honest, more than half of them submit atrocious problem sets. Consider the problem. Prove that any integer n, n squared plus n plus 1, is never a multiple of 5. More than half of the students submit an answer like this. Duh, I tested n from 1 to 15, and um, this is what I got. Since none of these cases have a unit's digit of 0 or 5, n squared plus n plus 1 is never a multiple of 5. This is not a proof. It is not enough to plug in a few numbers. For example, suppose you wanted to prove that the polynomial x squared plus x plus 41 spits out a prime number for any integer x. The completely boneheaded thing to do would be to plug in the integer 0, 1, 2, 3, and then conclude it is true. In fact, if you keep on plugging in integers from 1 to 39, you will keep getting a prime. But just plug in 40 and you will see that the output 1641, which isn't prime. Let's be honest, you can tell this is not a valid proof, but many of you would have submitted an answer like this. Does that mean you're stupid? No, this is what we taught you. But now I'm teaching you something different. A proof is an undeniable, irrefutable, absolutism. It is the final word on all arguments, the judge dread of the sciences. It is my hope that these videos not only help you get through the H series, but also correct high school misconceptions. Before we return to the main theorem, we need one more digression on a very important fact.